Good morning everyone. So I'm live this morning for this all important topic on family devotion. You may be wondering why is family devotion important? If I have my personal devotion then I'm good to go. This morning I want to tell you why family devotion is very important. Especially for your children at home. You know, okay, you go to church, you go for Sunday worship service, you go for revival hour, Bible study and all the likes. And you don't only want to limit your children to spiritual matters in the four walls of the church. Family devotion is bringing eh, the presence of God into your own home. You want your children to know the foundation of, you know, their spiritual growth right from the home. There are a lot of homes, they don't see the importance of family devotion. They don't even do it. But I want to tell you that when you have your family devotion at home, it shows your children that this area, the spiritual area of your family is very, very important to you. And that is why you are extending it from the four walls of the church into your home. Okay? And the family devotion is also a time where you bring up cogent matters, okay, that are affecting your spiritual life, your finances and the likes. You can also look for biblical verses that correlate with all those areas that you need the hand of God in your home. And then you can pray together, study the word of God together and, you know, address it as, as it applies to you. You know, sometimes in the church, the preacher may not capture things as it applies to individuals, you know, in their own unique way. But your family devotion, at that point, you can look at, it could just be a verse. And you will look at it from all angles, you know, get the opinions of your children, of your wife, of your husband, and you all look at the verse holistically with the help of the Holy Spirit. You can actually use it to address the very cogent matter that you are looking up to in your home. You know, there's a passage of the scripture in Deuteronomy chapter 6, verse 6 to 9. I'm going to read it to you. It says, And these words which I command thee these days shall be in thy heart. First, the word of God must be in your heart, and thou shalt teach them diligently unto thy children. The family devotion is the best place to diligently teach your children, and shall talk of them. When thou sittest in thy house, you see. So family devotion is very important for you to teach diligently the principles, the practice, the teachings of the Bible and what God demands from us in your home, in your house, okay? Thou shalt teach them diligently every day. Family devotion is a must, okay? For you, at least once in a day, for you to teach your children diligently. And when thou walkest by the way, even sometimes when you are taking your children to school, or when you are going in, in you are walking, or you are in the car, you can use that opportunity to also teach your children. When thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, even when they want to go and sleep, for example, sometimes when my sons are on their bed, that's the time we tell them, okay, this, 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 you know. And when thou risest up. So, you see, morning and night devotion is biblical. When thou liest down, when thou risest up, you will teach them so that they can bind them in their heart. Okay? So, the family devotion is a very, very good place to Teach your children, establish that spiritual altar in your home. To teach your children biblical lessons, how to pray, how to worship God. It is the best place to show your children that worship 
to God is very important in your family. You know, we are in a generation where people are rushing out every day. You know, the family is in a rush, you wake up, ah, it's already 7, it's already 6.30. You want to rush to the bedroom, you want to rush to, to uh, prepare for work, you don't even care whether you say your prayer or not. But I want you, as from today, to take family devotion very, very important because the spiritual altar of your home is very, very important to the tone, how peace, joy, love, you know, treating one another fairly in the, you know, way that God wants you to treat one another. So when you take family devotion important, that the word of God that you read will reprove we shape on both you, the parents, and your children to become who God wants. You know, there are many times I've been challenged through a family devotion when my husband is explaining the scripture. And there are many times also I have challenged, you know, him and the family when I explain the scripture. It's very, very important, you know. Even the family devotion is a place where you can pray for one another. Maybe some, one of you is sick or something, you know. You pray, for, for example, if my son is sick, or I remember when Daniel was vomiting one day, you know, Samuel said, Let's, let, can I pray for Daniel, you know, and he laid his hand upon Daniel and prayed for him, Lord, Daniel is vomiting, Daniel is sick, oh Lord, heal him, you know, it, it makes me happy that when my son is sick himself or when his younger brother is sick, the first thing he thinks of is prayer, he says, uh, mommy, can you pray for my hand? Maybe his hand is paining him. His teeth is paining him. Can you pray for my teeth? You know, it's very important to imbibe into your children that act of worship to God, prayer, trusting the word of God, and that spiritual altar in your home. You can only, you know, make it alive through your family devotion. You know, the Bible says in Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6, it says, Train up a child in the way he should go. When he is old, he will not depart from it. Your family devotion is a very, very good place to train your children and teach them what they need to know so that when they are old, they will not depart from it. Are you there? If not, be holding family devotion. Please make it very, very important in your home. Make it a point of duty. It doesn't have to be 30 minutes or one hour. It doesn't have to be a long, you don't have to read your old chapter of the Bible. It could just be a verse of the Bible that you read and you hold on to as family. For that day, you pray. Simple prayer and you begin to see the hand of God. The family that prays together stays together. When you pray together, you learn the word of God together. You know, it will shape on every one of you to become better in that your own. I pray that God will help as many families that are yet to understand the importance of family devotion. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. That should be your resolute. As for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. You learn how to worship God and pray to God and read the Bible outside the four walls of the church. You bring the presence of God, the order of God, right into your home. Okay? I pray God will help you in Jesus' name. So that's what I have to say in matters of the heart. Bye-bye.